Hey, look at this. Oh, oops. They lost to Sai. That's good to both them. Go, men. Of course, scheduled the swap against the Monster Destruction. Another first fight in the finals. Whoever wins will face the Titan Champions. Of course, right now, the Titan Champions are Brave Vesperia. Potentially, one of these teams could face them at Pandemonium. And look at these two unstoppable teams just staring each other down just weeks before well, the first fight. And last year, Monster Destruction did face Goman and Mitch, but the Monster Destruction will get towards by Will Gunter Wolf. Will just be any Goman solid change what happened last year and get the win? We always have to wait until the first fight. Obviously, these teams have two to fought before when it was Mitch. It's going to be Goman, but that time, Monster Society lost. Well, folks, also, I love first, that first fight. It's going to be a Mexican street fight between Ursula and Olivia Ariana, two hated sisters. Let's show you how deep this rivalry runs. Leg dragon back up, though. Oh, huge high kick. Ursula Ariana displaying her. Wait, wait a minute. Ursula, so good. It was all broken. I just blocked it. I can't believe it. How did you see that one coming? Oh, no, wait, wait a minute. Speaking of coming out of nowhere, how the hell was Ursula Ariana? This is the, what it looked like an Eastern Army Super Game to Ursula Ariana. We're just putting right here. My God. Wait, look. Ursula Ariana wins. It's just a new double X gym. I can't believe My God. Here's your winner. And new. Double S champion, La Zora Blanca! I can't believe it. La Zora Blanca just won the most championship and, and, and won with Ursario's own pitcher. That came with Ursario. Oh, what? My God, Rock Chalk. She kicked out. She kicked out of that. Still can't believe that she kicked out of that team. She was super kick. Wait a minute. It's the Tino Crown of Nowhere! Wait, wait a minute! I, oh, Nowhere! I was sort of blocked on that wall by Nowhere and got the victory! Man, I can't believe this new Steve, I can't believe it! Here's your winner! And still, Double X Champion, La Zora Blanca! At first, we thought it was only for sure after look. Ursula did the, the 10 of the mounted punches, then the Eastern was super kick, but somehow was all broken hands to kick out of all of that. And then get. How's she trying to prove here? Come up and absorb one gun, grab him by the hair. Hey, wait a minute. What happened to her mask? Wait a minute. Let's get another shot at. Wait a minute. Wait, what's wrong with her own mask? Wait a minute. I've seen that face before. Picking those face off her head, and that East St. Louis super kick. There you go. This has got to be right here. That's the leg. Wait a minute. Who is this on ringside distracting the ref? Wait a minute. I'm taking a closer look here. That's Olivia Oriano distracting the ref. Ursula, the ref didn't see the, didn't see the count there. That hesitation cost Ursula. That definitely would have been a three count. Oh, look at that. On top of the meal, this means, but across the border here, look at that splash! And the Renegade Divas could be in here, could be a huge upset. Only getting a two count. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, no, Ursa Ariano, that East St. Louis super kick on the Olivia Ariano, my goodness! You know, this is it here, folks. Yep, that's it. Got it. No one gets up from the East St. Louis super kick, but she just did it twice! Oh wait, she can't be going for a third time here. It, oh, it's super similar to that time hitting the, the, the huge Super Kick with all those huge kicks. Turns her over, this could be all she wrote. Final was two. Got to get it. Olivia actually kicking out of two Ace St. Louis Super Kicks. And what's also going to have to do to play Olivia all y'all talk about no, talk about all guts here tonight. We gotta think of all the punishment her body's taken so far. And now look at this. Go for death from above and oh that huge 720 leg drop there. Will this be all she wrote? Gets a three count Olivia our world women's champion. Here's your winner. And still UW 
NWA Women's Champion, Ursula Arellano. And Ursula Arellano put up a good showing here tonight. Hell, even Olivia Arellano is well and proven that they both deserve to be champion, but it's not only going to be one women's champion. That's Ursula Arellano. Folks, that goes to show you how much this hatred for the last year and a half between Ursula and Olivia Ariano goes. And it's going to end, hopefully, a little first fight in the Mexican street fight in a non title match. And from back to the group, like mentioned Spike here. Obviously, too many of such mutual respect towards one another. Once again, Spike will be in the corner of Mitch Watterson to see who will be facing a love at first fight. Anna Tan talking all high and mighty about herself and then of course knowing Anna Tan just pretends to or just refuses to believe all this control of blade transformation stuff that Renegade Diva and Karen Kulkos were all talking about. Now speaking of Renegade Diva, now time for the double X championship to be defended against Wildfire. These two huge you know, power players go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Double X Championship. Now approaching the ring, she is the challenger from Florence, South Carolina. She is Renegade Diva. Of course, folks, on tap at one of the first fight. It's going to be Renegade Diva facing Antan one on one. I thought we've all been waiting to see ever since the fallout, the breakup of the World's Hardest Tag Team. Because the last time Antonio Diva fought 1-1 was at Pandemonium 8 in which 
Renegade Diva with the victorious winning back women's championship. That last first fight's not going to be about championships, it's about, about all about retribution, bragging rights, and who gets the last laugh on who's really the better Girls Hot's tag team member. I remember, folks, the enforcer said that until that first fight, both Anthony and Renegade Diva cannot physically provoke each other or one another. But if they do, they both will be suspended, and I know they don't want that to happen. Because if that happens, there's a good chance, good likelihood, they might not be able to get this pandemonium. And quite frankly, I don't know the next time Pandemonium's going to be in Peter's little Kemwon. And they have to give a super loves to compete in front of the Kemwonium fans. Wildcard should be the double champion going into Pandemonium 11. On her way to the she is the current double X champion. From Melbourne, Australia, she is Wildfire. We'll see what you probably say right about now. How Kylie even speaks of Wildfire. And Thomas is boasting. Wildfire has not fought anyone like Renegade Diva. I'm mean, sure he fought Stacey Harley at Home of Fame in that elimination match. You know, Renegade Diva is definitely mean to business. Has not really much, shown much personality, really. Ever since she broke up with Anna Tan, having that transitory state somewhat. The regular is all about business and competing here in, in EWA these days. I don't know if those are funny. I don't know if it's a good idea for running these teams going into the world first fight facing Anna Tan. It's not if running these teams loses to Wildfire. Yeah, this could, be, this could be safe that Wildfire may soften up. Bring a deal for Anna Tan and love it first fight. And obviously Renegade Diva cannot afford to do that. But if Renegade Diva is victorious and becomes the next double X champion, and of course also is signing right by signing right now. If Renegade Diva wins tonight, she can be putting the double X championship on the line against Anna Tan and love it first fight. Of course she won't win tonight. And he made a little comment when Wildfire was coming out about how she might go into Pandemonium as double X champion. That's not a might, she's going to, okay? Get through your head, she's going to go into Pandemonium and walk out as well, the double X champion. Well, so you know, I'm sure you all know by now the outcome, the fallout of the double X score, the split back when Aaron Emini got involved. I mean, yes, she got defeated by Wildfire, but luckily for her, you know, she, her unborn child was safe. Folks, you gotta wonder what's gonna happen with Aaron Emmy when she comes back inevitably from her pregnancy. I mean, we don't know exactly a pinpoint date when she'll give birth and when she'll be back to compete in the UWA. But obviously, whenever that date comes, she's gonna want to face Wildfire in that ring at 100%. And I don't know, Emily's been waiting for a long ass time to face Wildfire in a regular match, not when she's pregnant. Of course, we have to wait and see if that ever happens. But tonight's about the Double X Championship against Renegade Diva and Wildfire. Against all oh, that huge curb stomp. That's a huge curb stomp indeed. I mean, look at this as Renegade Diva puts Wildfire in the corner. Oh my. The big splash from the Bulldog right out of it. Come on, Wildfire. Get out of this. The train you gotta reverse everything. And that goes with that arm bar. this folks you can see that with absolute relative ease we're gonna get throwing wildfire in the air and throwing it down with a huge ddt with one freaking hand i mean wildfire we're gonna get, we're gonna get almost have the exact same build which i think we're gonna get a slightly taller but but that's beside the point the point is we're gonna get actually just ragged on wildfire that ddt there and i'm sure we'll also invite his does not believe anything i'm saying about that right now Get over it, Rock Ducks. He's already back up. I mean, you don't have to choke on your gum for nothing. I mean, come on. Like I said, once again, that huge clothesline from Wildfire on display here is decapitating Renegade Diva. Okay, so he turns around and throws her with that, that hip to the arm drag there. And now Wildfire has running to grounded and definitely slowing down the pace here. Kind of wear down Renegade Diva. We're going to get powering out that triangle hold there. And a lot of back and forth action between these large to life double X icons. 